Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. Today is day 12 of our indoor grow for this deep water culture hydroponic system. I'm growing this um, self-watering, um, self-watering, self-pollinating cucumber right here. And you could see it's doing really well, guys. If you check out my, my previous episodes, you could see this thing has just exploded in new growth. It has new leaves, new flowers, new new side shoots that are shooting off look at all these runners when i lift up this leaf right here guys absolutely gorgeous this thing is just overwhelmed with with new growth right now and it's going to be growing and filling in this trellis quite a bit i think so let me lift up this leaf you guys could see basically look at that beautiful second flower that has um, pollinated the other day i think it was maybe two days ago pollinated and here's a nice little close-up of it looks absolutely beautiful i think and I can't wait. Hopefully the, the, these two actually pollinate it and, you know, they start to grow soon. And that's just a little microgreen tomato that we're going to be talking about really soon. It's gonna, I'm going to have a nice comparison video from the previous video that I showed you guys. So you could see over here and this thing is just absolutely taken off. And it's basically climbing this trellis really well. I'm using this uh, metal trellis right behind it. And I have these little clips that I like to use to just kind of like help support the plant and kind of help train it to grow, grow in the right directions that I want. Originally it was growing just like straight upwards, which I realized it's not going to work because I might as well, I have more space going left to right. So it might as well, you know, train it the right way. So I basically, you know, pulled off the, the tendrils, unfortunately I damaged a couple of them, but that's not going to harm the plant much at all. And I basically made a go the direction that I want. This is the way that I wanted to fill in. It's basically on the right side, so everything going left, I could fill in and I have plenty of space to grow in and hopefully support lots and lots of cucumbers, guys. So you see over here, basically the tendrils are just all over the place and the leaves are getting nice and large and they're looking really healthy, I think. And this is basically, I think this is honestly the best cucumber growth I've had so far. Although it's still fairly early to say since I've had, I've yet to have any, any fruits germinated yet or I mean grown yet, but... I think nonetheless with the way the leaves look and the way the plant is growing and how dense and compact I think the overall growth is doing really well especially considering that my son practically ripped out this plant out of its out of its new home and thankfully I was able to save it now you see it's basically just grabbing anything I can it has some wiring over here on the side I should have I should have taped it down on the side this way make it a little cleaner I'll have to do that a little bit later but for now, you see the cucumber growth is doing really well, guys. And I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on the inside as well. And you can see a little bit more details as far as like how dense and compact this plant is looking. So look at this beautiful guy's growth on the inside right back here. And I honestly see nothing but female flowers growing on this plant. And runners and leaves, obviously. But look at just how compact this is, guys. Look, when I spin around the camera, look one flower there's another cucumber another cucumber got one right there i should have had a counter going probably get a nice amount right now but look at this unbelievable just how many cucumbers are growing so i think this is definitely the best growth i've had so far and i'm using basically um what, what was it um maxi grow for this growth right here and they use basically only half a gallon so far for this entire grow and it's been about i think 12 days like i mentioned earlier so that's not so bad for 12 days. I think now that the flowers are actually growing and, and you know, pollinating and, and the fruits are going to be growing, I think it's going to be consuming a lot more, a lot faster. So I'm going to have to monitor that growth. And as you see, there's a couple of old leaves there that I haven't really trimmed up. I'm just going to let this thing grow naturally. I may trim it a little bit later depending on how bad they get, but for now I'm going to let it do its thing. And just look at how huge this thing is, guys. These leaves are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm using a T5 grow light. This is a four foot grow light. And all the items that I use could be found in the description bars down below in case you guys need. And you can see, like I mentioned earlier, about the space that I mentioned that's going to be filling in. So let's kind of take a look at the root system right now. I only look at the root system when I record these videos. This way I don't disturb the roots too much. Cucumbers are pretty finicky. You don't want to mess around with the roots too much. Um, so let's kind of take a look right here. <laughs> and at that point, I basically practically drop my phone into the into the reservoir here guys I record most of these videos using my phone and you can see this growth is just absolutely beautiful I think and I'm really excited for 
for these upcoming videos that we're going to be putting on guys where i'm going to keep training this plant to keep growing this way because it looks like in between basically every leaf and flower there's a new runner that's growing and that's going to be producing more more flowers and more leaves and more tendrils and everything like that so this trellis i'm not sure if it's going to do it honestly but i'm going to do my best to kind of keep it growing the way that i want and we may even have to trim it up a little bit so we're going to see about that and you can see right here it's growing basically in a five gallon bucket that i turned into a deep water culture system if you guys want to see an episode about that i, I, I could post that in the link below as well and look at this guy it's just absolutely gorgeous i think let me just kind of take a look at some close-ups here I should really try to get a count at the end of the video how just how many flowers I, I could see over here but you could see over here basically what I do is when I see a side shoot that's kind of going in the wrong direction I just simply kind of push it in the right form of where I want it to go roughly and I kind of use the leaves as um as a little bit of a weight to kind of hold it down and going in that direction and then it, nature kind of does its own thing you know the tendrils are in search of grabbing onto something so it's just eventually going to grab it and if you keep waiting the runner is just going to keep on getting longer and longer so you know it's up to you guys you can have some of them go on the floor or some of them go on the trellis grow it however you want and that's basically what we got for you guys so we're going to be back soon for more as always don't forget to hit that thumbs up and most of your messages or comments down below i'll do my best to respond